but I lived in the house on this bottle in one little unit where the hearse is now, actually, <laughs> which is kind of funny. This one is Bond and Lillard. I actually used to live on Bond Lane, which was also <laughs> named crazy. after this guy. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Beyond Bourbon. Today we got a review of two products, actually. Two of Wild Turkey's, what do they call it? Whiskey Baron's Collection. Whiskey Baron's Collection. I guess it's technically um, bottled under the American Medicinal Spirits Company. Yeah, um, but I don't know. If, but does it have wild turkey on it anywhere? It doesn't say wild turkey on it at all. Okay. But it is wild turkey. Yeah, we know that for sure. Anderson County, like. Yeah, it's not more roses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the two products are WB Saffle. So William Butler Saffle was what this bottle was. I guess he used to make bourbon pre-prohibition and became American treasure. And so, cool fact. This house, I guess it used to be his, is on Main Street in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. And it was for a time owned by someone else who rented different units out. And I lived there for two years with my mom in this house on this picture. And it looks the exact same. You can Google pictures of it. But I lived there um, when I was like six and seven. And it's now a funeral home. Or no, eight right? and nine. Okay. Yeah, it's not. And since then, it has been rebought and re done a funeral home. And I think it was a funeral home before it was a unit. So it was like, <laughs> that's crazy. It's been back and forth, but I lived in the house on this bottle in one little unit where the hearse is now, actually, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But it's kind of crazy. So this that's, is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This hits home. Connection, yeah. Yeah, this hits home for sure. This one is Bond and Lillard. And so Bond and Lillard are two people, I think they said they. They won some prize at the St. Louis World Fair for their bourbon as well in 1869. So that, definitely some experienced, yeah, uh, yeah. long-term legacy type thing. So Modern Lillard is a road um, named after them in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky as well. I actually used to live on Bond Lane, which was also <laughs> named crazy. after this guy. There's a Bond Street, a Bond Lane, a Bond and Lillard. There's a lot named after this guy. So I lived on a street named after this guy. And then I lived in the house this guy used to live in. So Jared's got a not only connection, but he's also our local Lawrenceburg historian. Yeah. And so like this is the perfect like two bottles I for mean, you, right? Like there you can't find a better whiskey yeah. review of these two <laughs> bottles that has like this deep of connection. So I'm hoping that these turn out to be great. Yeah. It's from my favorite distillery. Yeah, Wild it's Turkey. hard to beat. So Bond and Lillard is the bottle and bond. This is batch number two. I have no clue the difference between batch number one and batch number two, but I do know it's batch two because it says on the label. Um, which is nice. It is. Unlike a lot of people, like yeah. Stag. Stag, you're like, oh, this is 131 proof. Let me go look at this, this The chart. laser code for, yeah. the, for Russell's well, 13. That's the dumbest thing ever. You gotta look at the damn laser code yeah. to figure out which batch it is. It's that makes stupid. no sense. But Bob Miller, 100 proof, and then WB Saffle is 107 proof, which we have stated multiple times. Our favorite. That range yeah. between like 105 to 115, yeah. like that print proof range is the perfect range for us. For, for most things. For most drinkers. Yeah. No, wait, Whiskey of the Year is usually higher proof because it's just like, a unicorn on yeah. its own. And but you're, that's not, not something you're day. pouring every day, exactly. Once a year, maybe, you know what I mean? I th All right, you wanna start with lower proof? We'll Let's, start with yeah. Bond & Lillard, start Bond Hunter Proof. I honestly kind of have low hopes for this, so we'll get into a little details now as we smell and stuff. So we're at uh, both 375s, and total was $116-ish, right? Yeah, I, I think 58 yep. Yep. was roughly each. I think this one was technically 59 and this one's like 57 or something. It's like mm -hmm. average, it's $2 difference. I do know that, but it average is 58. Yeah. And that was after tax and everything. Yeah, you always see these two together as well. Mm -hmm. So I got lucky when it sold online yesterday and they had just brought in like a cart of the shipments they got. They had Bond and Lillard in a box and I was like, oh, can I have one of those? And the guy was like, yeah, for sure. And they also had the 1792 Sweet Wheat right there too. So I was like, two back to back things. Then I walk over to the shelf and WB Saffle was on the shelf. I was like, three good three bottles. Three great bottles. Like, that's I, a great oh, day. Oh man. That's a great day. It's a good Saturday. Very light. Very light. Man, the almost smells bottom shelfy. I don't know. I don't get a lot on that. I, the nose isn't great. I don't like it, honestly. Right? No, I mean, nothing's screaming, ooh, drink me. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I, I am going to stick with my thing that I would guess off the nose, I would always guess that's a bottom shelf product. Not always guess. It's not a bottom shelf product. That's it. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Wild Turkey 80, whatever. Yep. Yep. Whatever it is. But it's 100 proof. So it should taste like one on one, but. No, not quite. All right, we'll see. That's surprisingly pretty good. Much better than the nose. I actually like that a lot. For 100 proof, like we just drank a 130 and a 120, so 129, so mm, that 100 know. proof is pretty good. That's, that's not 55, $58 worth though. I'm not a huge fan of that, Joe. That sweet tea note is strong. Mm -hmm. I don't really like that. 
I don't. I think the nose smells kind of uh, young, youthy. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's exactly that's same that's time we the said the color. Yeah. Uh, uh, kind of gives that away. Wow, definitely wasn't in. Kind of grain thing. forward on the palate, which is again the youth. It kind of tastes like cream corn. I'm off of that one right now, dude. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, we'll come back for ratings. It's definitely got like a a fake sugar note. It, it everything about it is bottom shelf. It's young, it's light, it's grainy, grainy, and it has that fake sugar in it. To it's it. super fake sugar. Right? Like it, it's like I took a spoonful of monk fruit or Splenda or something junk like that. I had high hopes for this. That could possibly be part and of it. And we as came well. off of two of the best wishes we've best had game. this year. So definitely some factors. Moving on. Nose and this is twenty times. Oh my god! That's wild turkey. Like yes. the cherry, the cherry that comes across from that. This, this. I oh, had, hello. This yes. is like some Russell single yeah. barrel um, similarities to that. You know what I mean? Man, that is good. I like that. Deep, dark mm -hmm. flavors, colors better. Everything about that's better. So far. Yep, yeah, that's really good. Palate's lacking a little. Yeah. Nose better than the palate. That one. Wow. I do like the, the amount of heat I get. Similar flavor to that first one, just a little bit. Which is very surprising coming off the nose. You would have never guessed that. I wouldn't have, at least. I mean, man, don't lie down. Not ex uh, not liking the fact that both of these kind of let me down a little bit. I am not upset we bought them. Absolutely. For two things. One, your amazing connections to both these bottles. Yeah, you have to try it. Yes. You live in the house or the yeah. guy named after, right? And two, just the way they look. Like, I, I very rarely do we buy something just because of, like we like the way it looks or something or label. Mm -hmm. the label. These look not only good together, but like separate on a shelf for a good, good wild yep. turkey collection. And you gotta have this, right? They're not crazily expensive where it's like you, you're you upset that you spent the money on them. Someone comes up to your house like, whoa, what is that? I would be so happy to give you that's a little bit of each of these. Yeah, that's very, very true. I don't know. Um, I wish they would do more, I think. Like more collections. I agree. Let's rate both of them. And would you recommend both or either? Okay. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna go just one at a time. I'm gonna go Whiskey, Baron, we're going Bond and Lillard first, 100 proof. Whiskey, Baron, Bond and Lillard. I'm not a fan. I mean, that's like- I have worse. 27? No, I was gonna say 27. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's 54. I mean, we've definitely had worse. We've also had bottom shelf products that are a quarter of this price that are a lot better. Yeah, not factoring value in yes, as correct. much. That is just kind of straight off the palate. Going back to the back, that makes that taste a lot better. Yeah, that's definitely better. Not as youthy or anything. No. Doesn't have the aftertaste is the same. It's I guess not, that weird. It's similar to some Russell single barrels. It's not quite as good. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit lighter, but it's it's like in between range. 33? 34. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we're right in the same price. Yeah, it's 67. So I don't know. And then would I recommend this one? No. 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 Would I recommend this one? Probably not. No. Now, here's the only time I would recommend these. We have all the wild turkey products we can basically find. We have, um, this is our favorite distillery like I mentioned in the beginning. And so I am very glad we bought these. And I think if you are a wild turkey fan, and if you are trying to build your wild turkey collection, these are an automatic purchase. Because it's honestly not worth um, not having these in your collection not to buy. Because it's, I mean, it's only, you're talking $100 for the two. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's expensive. Is it great whiskey? No, but it's gonna look good on your shelf. It right? is. Like, you add those up, I mean, this is a 90 plus dollar bottle. We're talking about the same price now. And what proof right here, the 110, is that right for those? Yeah, 110. 110. Yeah. No. Oh gosh, that has a weird note to it. The back. finish is, ter it's, it's very Splenda like Funky. again. Yeah. So it has a ton of similarity. It's very similar to this one at first. <laughs> but yeah, the finish yeah. wears off quickly and this holds more, you know, Three proof shouldn't make that big of a difference, but I feel like it does here. Three proof, probably age longer, I'm not gonna yeah. say. I'm assuming. I think if you're going for taste, Russell's, skip both of these. Yeah, don't buy this. Th these this. are collector's bottles. Yeah, that's all it is. These are these are meant to be collector's bottles. Yeah. These aren't thought this should be drink all the time. Yeah. I'm not gonna pour these that often. Um but I'm glad we have them. They look great in the show. Yep, we have, for we sure. have almost every wild turkey product. We have a couple more I'm yeah. waiting to get. But. Limited releases, we have wild, I mean, we have Russell's 13. Other than that, we're kind of lacking there. But we're working up. We're getting yeah. there, yeah. right? Like, I mean, so thank you guys for watching. Let us know what you guys think about Whiskey Baron collection. And then also, um, if you if have them, or did you like them? Like compared to other stuff? Because I could see the similarity between these two. This is not even wild turkey, ask me. Yeah, like it, it tastes worse than wild turkey 81 or 86, whatever it is. Yes, it's terrible. Um, so I'm not like a huge fan of those. Yeah. But like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Yeah.